Welcome to the solemn Yu-Gi-Oh! channel where we discuss everything collecting and investing in Yu-Gi-Oh! Once in a while, I show you the cards that I'm sending off for grading. So that way you know, where's my headspace at? What am I investing in? What am I collecting? And maybe it influences your purchasing decisions. Maybe it doesn't. I don't really care. Of course, today we're doing it on the stonks mat. If you want this one, you can go to zerodamagegaming.com and use the code solemn. Of course, you always want to have a beautiful playmat to uh, sword cards on or play the game even. You know, who does that in 2021, right? With COVID and all, maybe one day you'll actually get to use a playmat again but without that out of the way let's check out these cards oh also i noticed someone saying like oh why are why are they in top loaders where's your card savers i'm currently waiting for my card savers to come in again i just like storing cards in top loaders because it feels like nice and sturdy i'm not afraid that they'll fall over or they'll fall out or anything like that but yeah i'm waiting for my next batch of card savers right now if you're looking for card savers or anything like that to grade your own cards i have a link in the description down below for that as well so we have a judgment dragon let me zoom zoom in real quick. So Judgment Dragon, iconic as hell for players, which is very important. So when you buy a card like this, you are taking on slightly more risk in the sense that this was not in the anime. People don't vividly remember this as kids, but if you are a player and you're hunting for that rarity or, or that iconic value for players at one point, Judgment Dragon is pretty interesting. It was in Light of Destruction, which you just can't find these days at all sealed. Back in the day, everyone ripped it open because it had light storms and honest, so you needed that to, you know, play competitively. It's one of the most expensive boxes out there, except for, of course, you know, your, your vintage stuff. And even there, this is beating quite some of the Duel Monsters era boxes. This was an extremely hard pull in there. There. I remember playing this and because I was too poor to actually play Lightsworn, I only had one of them and it was a German one because that was cheaper. Very happy to pick it up in a English right now. Look at that secret. Love this card a lot. Lightsworn is one of my favorite archetypes ever, at least from a player perspective. I think I paid like 300 for this, which is fine. It's not insane. It looks minty AF. It's a bit OC top to bottom, but not out of PSA 10 range for that reason. The rest is very clean, so I am hopeful. Next up, we have a Destiny hero dreadmaster this card was pretty clean i don't think i saw any major flaws whatsoever we're hoping for that gem i love destiny hero dreadmaster so much once again definitely not a huge card from iconic anime perspective there's not as many fans of destiny heroes as there are for elemental heroes but once again i'm that edgy boy and so i liked destiny heroes over them then we have a cyber end dragon mattel this is just being bulk subbed it's not worth all that much i just like cyber end dragon so it's whatever it's a bit oc on the back next up we have an ulti cyber twin dragon european look at that pop it's hard to catch on camera let me let me see if i can oh there we go Whoa. absolutely stunning i already subbed one or two of this before i'm hoping for a gem i don't know if this one is gonna gem i think all of my cyber twin dragons had some type of issue so we'll see next up we had uh four cards that kind of belong together we have our toon gemini elves and toon goblin attack force now very important topic to discuss these actually these cards aren't worth anything Nothing whatsoever. These cards are 5 to 50 cents at best. Because these were given out to shops en masse. I spoke with John from House of Champs about this as well. These aren't rare. Whatsoever. These are worthless. However, I am a Toon collector. I like Toons a lot. I always say on this channel... Kaiba, Zane, Pegasus, they are daddy. I love Toons so much. And so when you are trying to get a complete Toon collection, you still need these. <laughs> But the problem is, the card is worth less than your grading fee. So it hurts to send these in. I'm like, am I really spending? I don't know how much is it now. Is it 60 bucks to grade all these or, or whatever it ends up being for cards that are worth literally a Coca-Cola? These cards together are Coca-Cola. And I'm going to spend 40 bucks, 60 bucks, however much bucks to get them graded because I want my full tune collection. It is what it is, you know. If you're collecting tunes, you're first going for the magic ruler. It's that simple. You get your magic ruler tunes, get them out of the way, okay. Then you move into the TP, CP, whatever the hell to get your tune table of contents. Uh, you have your promo tune art magician girl, tune cannon soldier from TP, all of those good stuff. Then what do you move into? You move into maybe odd shit like this, maybe the collector rares from tune chaos. You're still gonna have to pick them up at some point. And now because bulk sub takes like two years to get back you know i'll see these cards in 2023 bye that sucks and it's so expensive to grade them now so i don't know how many people are actually gonna grade these and if you're a completionist collector well good luck next up we have a cyber end dragon ultimate rare european let me try to get that ulti nice on the camera come on oh there we go that's what you're looking for 
That's what you are looking for when checking out a Euro ulti. Wow. Absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, huge fan of this card. This card is actually gonna grade awfully. I don't know if you notice this corner, but it's actually creased, damaged, weakened, whatever you wanna call it, it sucks ass. The thing is, I'm still grading it because I'm trying to get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 for Cyber End Dragon. I know it's a stupid fucking quest, but I think it's gonna be funny, especially given that once I have all the high grades out of the way or like the not low ones, you know, my 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, then I'm gonna have to start hunting for Cyber End Dragons that are damaged enough to get a 4, but not so damaged to get a 1. And then I'm gonna have to find Cyber End Dragons that are so damaged that they can get a 1, but aren't so damaged that they're not being graded. So I think it's gonna be a very funny video series for me to actually do the quest of finding Cyber End Dragons that are fucked enough to get 1 through 10. I think that's gonna be hilarious. So that's gonna be the goal. The video is gonna start off with me just showing off all the Cyber End Dragons that can gem. This is not one of them. But I think the end of the video will be hilarious when we try to get those, uh, those last few. Beautiful. Still happy with it despite the damage and so forth. Next up, here's some stonks. Um, true stonks moves right here. Five. Crush Card Virus from Gold Series 1. If you do not have five figures, you are not getting a Shonen Jump Crush Card. It's just done. You're just not gonna find them below five figures. It's that simple. Even if you had your dog shit on a Crush Card and then put it into the dishwasher and it came back out, you're probably still gonna get <laughs> into the thousands for that card. Because Shonen Jump Crush Card they just barely exist. And so if you want to collect a crush card, you want to find a collectible crush card, but you do not have the funds for Shonen Jump crush card, and let's say it grows even more, it's even further out of range. What do you do as a collector when you are a Kaiba fan or when you were a player and you loved using this card in the Dark Armed era? There is no other alternative beyond, I guess, the ulti, but this is the first, you know, for 99% of players, this was the first crush card they ever laid eyes on or collected or used in their decks or whatever, because, you know, not everyone knew someone with a Shonen Jump crush card. So this is the first. It was super hard to pull. Like back in Gold series, people don't remember this card was insanely hard to pull. It was the chase of the set. It's also extremely hard to grade well because all of these are off-center except for... Let's see. Where's my non-off-center one? Is it this one? There's two here that aren't completely fucked. Everything else is off-center because these bad boys, they're just always off-center. So they were hard to pull. Iconic AF for the anime. Iconic AF for players. Always off-center, so hard to gem. There's so much going for this card and people just aren't aware. Next up, we have some of the Portuguese hollows that I pulled in the MRD unboxing. So that's just good fun, you know. Portuguese isn't some mega stonks thing. Still, I like him. Especially fan of this Time Wizard. As I said, whoever uh, pulls a Time Wizard wins the box battle, but then he pulled one as well. Well, gorgeous card. Definitely my favorite out of MRD. Also a cool-ass barrel dragon. A lot of strong supers, so just gonna grade them. No big deal. I'm probably bulk subbing these. Maybe this one slightly higher. Still gonna be fun. Finally, uh, you noticed I did an LOB slash MRD collection buy a few weeks ago. And so we have a bunch of commons here. I didn't even put them in top loaders. As I say, I'm just waiting for my card savers right now. We have our Feral Imp, Harpy Lady, and Petite Moth. Once again, this is not me telling you this is stonks, right? These are fucking commons. These are just my favorite commons in MRD. And so I want them slapped. They're even EU. They're not a huge deal. And then we have the LOB ones. So as I said before, a lot of these LOB commons were actually super damaged from that collection. And so these were actually the ones I picked out as being, you know, good enough to potentially get a good grade. Will some of them be weaker? Absolutely. But some of them will probably do well. And so that's why I'm sending them in. I'm hopeful. Petite Dragon, I love this. I hope this gems. And then obviously a basic insect and Skull Servant. So a lot of cool commons. These are the few that, that I think are gradable. And all the other ones are now in a binder collection. So that's very fun. So that was my little PSA submission for the month. I hope you found this interesting. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you soon. Ciao.